When seeing the Nintendo 64, one game usually pops in your mind. Yes, but let's think of other examples. Getting warmer. Oh, come on! Oh, good one! Did you know it was white? You guys are terrible at guessing! It's Wedger and Zelda going up time! Ocarina of Time is probably the best M64 Zelda game of all time, until Majora's Mask came along. Anyway, this is an awesome game. Its jump to 3D was exactly like Super Mario 64. It was perfect and groundbreaking. So much groundbreaking that its gameplay and everything that was unique about Ocarina of Time became a staple in later Zelda games, like the previously mentioned Majora's Mask, Wind Waker and Twilight Princess. The open world is breathtakingly amazing, jaw-droppingly huge, and so incredibly detailed that I spent more time exploring Hyrule Field than actually going to the dungeon. And that's no smoothie. The music was among the greatest and most memorable of the whole series, with Hyrule Field and Gudo Valley being the best ones of the bunch. Did I mention you're listening to to Gerudo Valley? Oh wait, I didn't have to mention it because most Zelda fans already know what it is. That's how great and memorable the soundtrack is. Just listen to it. Although people say this is pretty overrated by today's standards, and to be honest, I agree, as I think Wind Waker and Majora's Mask are better Zelda games. But Ocarina of Time is still very enjoyable, and you can't deny that it revolutionized the, the Zelda series as a whole. Well, with its innovative gameplay, amazing environments, great level designs, and memorable soundtrack. Oh! And to, to end this clip, to all those who say that this game is a piece of scrap not just because of that terrible graphics, I have this to say. Go f yourself.